Hello guys, welcome to my presentation over um, William Faulkner's Barn Burning. And uh, I'm going to offer you the plot um, to give you a quick summary of what happened, give you my perspective of the reading and how I tied it into my life. This is where the story begins with uh, Abner in this position to where he has burned a barn and uh, he's knowingly guilty. The people would tell him to leave this country and never come back. And then this is where we kind of understand Sardi's perspective of it. His father kind of senses that Sardi doesn't really believe that. He goes into more of an abuse with uh, Sardi, starts talking him into um, what it really means to be loyal to him. And so uh, once he relaxes to this new place, he kind of wants to see like who he's working for. And, uh, he doesn't leave a great first impression. Literally, he um, steps in poop or manure, um, as I say. It's a very expensive carpet. This is major to Spain. And so the Spain uh, tells Ab Abner to clean it. He return it. Uh, he wanted to teach him a lesson to wipe your feet before he ever entered the house again and basically have some respect for him and his property. Abner ju did just that. He cleaned it. You know, he left some wear and tear on it. And this led to the Spain thinking that Abner should pay consequences for what he had done because he ruined the carpet. And then... He uh, gives an offer to Abner. It's kind of out of Abner's reach, and Abner's kind of guy that um, it's his way. And so this doesn't sit right with them. So he wants to bring it to another courthouse, and he kind of sues them to where um, he takes that away. So after this deal, Abner does what he does best. So he decides that he's going to burn this barn. And um, even though the Spain seemed untouchable and he was just so big, Abner's power is just through this arson. So um, he continues with that. This is where Sardi is um, forced to make this big decision. And uh, he ends up making the moral decision and he warns Despain crying, barn, barn, barn. This leads to Despain actually being able to take action for what's going on. And so once that happens, Sardi runs and he runs through the woods and he can hear gunshots. And the gunshots really add more depth to the story. Um, making his decision more meaningful. And so the story ends with a 10-year-old boy lost in the woods with no one, no clue if his family's alive. He knows that he kind of cut himself off from his family's traditional ways, and uh, this may lead to greater opportunities for him. I quote him by saying, an artist is a creature driven by demons, but he did carry his own demons, and he himself um, justified that he used them. So um, according to Oxford University Press, he had been drinking heavily and blacking out for 20 years. So I made the relationship that in barn burning, the fire could be um, related to um, his drinking habits. He didn't change much. And this is, you can see that in the static character Abner, um, there was not really any change throughout the story. He didn't go through any development. And uh, I feel like um, Faulkner kind of related this in, into a story that, um, the power that Abner felt with the fire is the kind of the power that uh, Faulkner felt while drinking. And where I kind of related to myself as well. In a personal reflection, um, as a kid raised in a heavily alcoholic culture, um, I have seen the effects that it, what it can do for um, a family. Sardi offers great courage as, um, as far as breaking away from those traditional molds. And uh, no matter the situation you're in, um, whether it be alcoholism or religious beliefs, um, he offers that courage that kind of inspires readers to um, break away from previous traditions, uh, choosing a new path in life. That's kind of what Sardi did towards the end uh, of the story. Path ultimately led to him making that decision. And so uh, the story leads to new opportunities, basically. Um, to summarize, Faulkner really recaps his work in barn burning the courage and the uplifting spirit that this story holds um even though it may seem negative with the presence of abner there's sardi which is an, a new hope and uh you can see it in the quote and that that's really all faulkner hopes for is just to offer hope to the reader and uh, just to give them the opportunity to grow in their own way and that's what makes faulkner's work so timeless is um no matter the time the reader can kind of put theirself in that position, which is which makes a really great writing. That kind of concludes the thing here today. I want thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy.